Hi everyone, Kev Muldoon here. In this video what I'd like to do is show you how you can connect your Android smartwatch to your Android smartphone. Now, this is powered by Google's Android Wear operating system. It's designed specifically for smartwatches and it does actually have limited support for iOS 8.2 or above but I do think it is a true Android device and it's more suited towards those of you who do have Android smartphones. There's no support for Windows or Tizen or any other kind of operating system like that and you know I mean to be honest most Apple users only buy Apple products anyway so I don't think it's a big deal. Now the my last video I did an unboxing of this and this is the Asus Zen Watch. It's the first generation. Now what I just need to first do is turn it on. There's a little power button at the back there. Now I've got a full charge on it, so it should power up quite quickly. If I can get my finger in. There we go. Okay, so that's just going to load up now. Now, in order to connect it to your phone, the first thing you need to do is go to the Google Play Store and you want to um, you want to download this app, Android Wear. So, that is what you want to download. So you can see it's trying to connect already. Um, so your Android phone will connect to your watch using Bluetooth. Um, don't worry if you don't have Bluetooth turned on already, um, it will ask you to do so. So here we go, this is the, um, the setup process. And all you do is you just swipe and I'll try and Get that a little bit more focused. Right, can you see that okay? I think that's a bit clearer. Right, here we go. So, what we do is we go through and you choose your language. And then, I bought mine's in the UK. So, most major European languages, well, there's three or four European, we've got three. Okay, what have we got here? We've got German, English, English American, Spanish. We've got the different regions for Spanish, French, um, Italian, Portuguese. I think that's Russian or Polish, and then we're on to like Chinese, Japanese. I've got no idea what those are. I'm not going to kid on that. I do. Okay, so when you've chosen the the language, you just I believe you just push it or do you swipe? There we go. Right, it asks you to connect to a power source, but this is already has a full charge, so it's not an issue. And then I just swipe to the right. Now you can see here it tells you to download the Android Wear app. I've already done that. And it says you have to go into your, your Android Wear app and look for the watch code. So if you go back here, you can see that it says it's trying to connect. For some reason, it's not connecting just now, but what I'm going to do is just quickly restart the app. Because maybe because I started it before, it's causing a problem. Okay, so I've got here, pair with your watch. Um, and it's coming up, Asus Zen Watch. And it's also come up my iMac. But if I choose this smartwatch, here we go. Couldn't pair. Here we go. Now it's asking if I want to pair with it, and I do it. And that's it. I'm not sure why it didn't work the first time there, but it seemed to correct itself quite quickly. And that's all there is to it. Then you can see now it's now showing that the ACSN watch is connected. Is there any problems? When you come into it at the start, um, I'm not sure if I showed that in camera there, but all I did was I clicked on there and there's an option to pair with a new watch. So when you come into the Android Wear app, I think that's what I did wrong in the first place. I just expected it to work, but I think what you do is you go into Android Wear and then you just click on that, pair with the new watch, and then it comes up with that screen.
So apologies if I didn't show that correctly the first time. Uh, and you can see now, I was just going through, it's showing you all the little different screens and that, and it's just, it's syncing. Um, it's updating all the apps and, you know, setting everything up for you. You can see here, you can see how easy it is to use the smartwatch. Very easy to swipe left and right. And you can swipe up and down, etc. So it remained at the updating stage for quite a few minutes. It was like three or four minutes there. And now it's syncing. And you can see here, it's syncing the apps that I've got on my smartphone. Um, and it's syncing it to the smartwatch. Now, there's a lot of Android apps that are set up to be used with smartwatches and there's a lot that are not. So I think what it's doing is it's retrieving the data for the apps that do, it's checking what apps have got and then it's it's going to install the appropriate apps on the smartwatch. So now we are at the end of the process. Um, so it, it, it the setup sat for around, it was around three or four minutes for the updating stage and then it was like another four or five minutes for the syncing stage and I think that depends on how many apps you have installed on your phone as well. So here we go. So this is just it's going to explain how we do it all. Can you see that? Yeah. So if they swipe up to get started, keep swiping, swipe to remove. So we've got weather. If you want to see the details you swipe left. So there we have it. That is how you connect your Android smartwatch to your Android smartphone. It's very, very easy to do. All you have to do is switch it on, connect to the Android Wear app on your smartphone, make sure Bluetooth is enabled and it should pair up quite easily. Now in my next video what I'm going to do is take you a walk through Android Wear and show you how it works and what it can do. But in this video, all I want to do is just show you how to set it all up. So I hope you've all found it useful. If there's anything I've missed out, please do leave a comment below and I will do my best to help you out in some way. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider liking or subscribing. Till next time, guys. Thanks.